Yo, so today we're going to be breaking down a simple happy ambient melody for someone like Ian Dior or other similar artists and then throwing some drums on it at the end. Alright, so before the video starts, I want to say thank you guys for 6,000 subs. I know I haven't said thank you, but I also haven't made a video in a while, so I want to say thank you in this video. It's another cool milestone to hit. Alright, so for the first sound, I went into Labs, which is a free VST, and I grabbed a textural pad called Deneeb. Overall, Labs is a great free plugin, and the textural pads and acoustic guitars are two of my favorite sections in there. All right, and then here's the main MIDI for the melody. So as you can see, it's double the length of something I would normally do, so it's 16 bars instead of just 8 bars. So this first half is more the energetic and complicated section, and then the second half is all the notes in that melody stacked into chords, just for a little relaxed section, and also just so I can paste that into other melodies that I wanted the chords for. So if I were to go ahead and make something similar, we're going to be working in C major, so I'm just going to lay out the root notes and then I'm going to stack a really simple repeating pattern on top of it. So after we have that laid out, this is really going to carry the whole melody, so the rest of the stuff is just to make it feel more full. So we're going to go ahead and add some chords on top, so I'm going to grab this E and then pitch it up an octave and then layer it with another C. So after we have that down, we can go ahead and continue to add other notes just to make it feel more full. And then I'm going to go ahead and put this down an octave and then duplicate the bass notes down just so it seems more deep. And I'm going to lower the velocity on that bass note just so it's not super overbearing. And that's pretty much how I come up with these melodies. Then I would go ahead and paste it over three times and just make slight adjustments to make it a little bit more interesting. And then of course duplicate the whole thing over another eight bars and form it into chords. And then in the final melody, I ended up pitching it up to D flat major just to make it a little bit more high pitched. And overall just transposing your melody after you make it can kind of give it a different feeling and you might find a sound that you like more. So after that, I ended up rendering it out, but before I did, I added some effects. So I started off with the filter jumper two preset from Shaperbox, a halftime on the one bar preset, magic switch turned about three quarters of the way down, an EQ just to cut all the lows, and then finally an imager just to make it feel nice and wide. And then after I had that all processed, I went ahead and added even more effects. So I went ahead and added some fresh air with the high air turned to 80 and the mid air to 30, a deep blue crusher with the reduction at 15 samples and the smoothing at 100, another magic switch turned about halfway down, gross beat on the half beat gate, which is automated, finisher micro on the infinity preset, which is also automated, an EQ to cut out the highs because there was a slight clicking noise, an EQ to cut out all the lows so there's room for an 808, and then finally a pancake that's just on the normal Normal preset, but the LFO it's turned to four bars in the mix to 60%. So after all those effects and automation and everything, here's what it sounds like. So overall, it's just a nice little pattern that'll be a great base to build the rest of the melody around. All right, and then for the next sound, I went into Keyscape and grabbed a piano. So I grabbed the Dark Indie Wing Upright Piano. This has been one of my favorite pianos recently, and I also have been liking the 60s Mute a lot. All right, and then here's the MIDI for it, and it just copies the chords from the second half of the first MIDI, but I just went ahead and offset it by a bar so it's a little bit more interesting and different and kind of hits at a better time. Then again, I rendered this sound out, but before I did, I added some effects. So I added Tape Cassette 2, which the wow and the flutter turned up, fruity reverb with the decay turned up a little bit and the wet slider turned up a little bit, and then finally an EQ just to cut all the lows. So after those effects I ended up pitching it down an octave which is something I really like to do with the wing upright pianos from Keyscape, and then I have this second part that's reversed that kind of leads into that first chord hit. Overall just to fill up that dead space where I delayed the chord hitting. So after all that here's what it ends up sounding like.
So for the next sound, I grabbed a synth called Dreams from the Adapt Serum Bank. Overall, I kind of like to use this synth more as a lead rather than a synth, but it's really a, just a good sound overall. And then here's the MIDI for it. So it's super simple and it just copies some random notes from the melody. With these kind of melodies, I just like to click it in as it plays so I get the timing right and overall just makes it easier to hear it as it's happening. And then I ended up rendering that out, but I put it through the same effect chain that I just mentioned with the tape cassette. And then I also added additional effects after that. So I put on magic switch, turned pretty much all the way up, a gross beat on a one beat gate that's automated, an EQ just to filter out all the stuff I didn't want and overall just kind of make it feel a little bit more old and filtered out. And then the opponent's preset in Pancake 2 with the mix turned to 100 and the LFO set to half. And then I also added a automation clip with the Pancake as well. And then for those automation clips, I have them doing the exact same thing. So as the chops come in, the chops go ear to ear. So overall, it's just kind of an interesting effect that I tried and it worked out pretty well. So here's what it ends up sounding like. All right, and then for the next sound, I went ahead back into Keyscape and grabbed another piano. Uh, like I just mentioned, I used the 60s Mute, which is my other favorite from Keyscape. Uh, so overall, good sounding piano, and it fit really well in the melody. And then here's the MIDI for it. And again, it's another MIDI where I just kind of clicked it in as I listened to the MIDI to get the timing right and the notes sounding good. So overall, there's really not much explaining, and it's just a lot of trial and error and listening to it over and over again. And then after that, I ended up routing it through both of my guitar pedals. So first I put it through the mood, which just kind of gave it a lot of texture and a little bit of delay. And then I put it into the blooper and just added a slight detune to it. So after I put it through the guitar pedals, here's what it ends up sounding like. Overall, I tried to keep the guitar pedal use very moderate because I know not everyone has them. But to get this same effect, you could use Finisher Micro and then something like Isotope Vinyl to get that detune. Overall, guitar pedals are just a lot of fun to use, and I'm going to have more videos on them in the future. Then for the next sound, I went into the Money XO Serum Bank, and I grabbed the Delay Pluck. Overall, it's just a really solid pluck, and I needed to add it in because there wasn't really a hit to the start of the melody or distinguished chords in general. So then here's the MIDI for it, and I just kind of figured out what sounded good. This doesn't follow the exact chords, and again, it uses that same process of just trial and error, clicking things in until you get something that sounds right. And like I mentioned before, the reason why I had to add this in is because that main pad had a lot of attack. So it's kind of weird that the melody was starting like a bar in advanced when that first piano hit. So I wanted to add this in so it hits on the one and kind of gives it a little bit of a kickstart. And then for the effects on that, I just have ambience turned about halfway down, an EQ to cut all the lows, and then an imager to make it a little bit more mono. So after all those effects, here's what it ends up sounding like. All right, and then for the next sound, I went back into Serum and grabbed a lead called Water from, again, that Money XO bank. Overall, this is just a nice little accent piece, and it doesn't really show up in the melody that much, but when it does, it kind of adds like a relaxed feeling and overall just kind of carries that part. And then here's the MIDI for this. So I went ahead and just used the root notes of the scale. So as you remember, I pitched it up to C sharp. So I went ahead and did that, and then I followed the root notes from there and then back down to the C sharp. And then I had to throw in this D sharp at the end just so I could kind of end it in a nice way and it didn't feel really empty when it ended. Then on the mixer for that, I only have an EQ that just cuts the lows. So after that EQ, here's what it ends up sounding like. This pattern really doesn't show up in the melody a lot, but I have it in there just so I can add it in later when there's like a break section with no drums. And then for the final sound in the melody besides the bass, I have a pluck called Vibe from one of Sunboy's One Shot Kits. As I mentioned in pretty much all my videos, Sunboy's One Shot Kits are pretty much my go-to kits, so definitely go check them out. And then here's the MIDI for it, and the like I do in a lot of my melodies and a lot of my videos, it just copies a clap pattern. So this one does a more pop type clap pattern instead of like a trap type clap pattern, because I wanted to leave my options open, and overall just gave it a nice rip. For the effects on that, I just have a reverb with the decay turned up a little bit. And then again, that same kind of old telephone EQ to just to kind of filter it out and make it sound a little bit more old. So after all those effects, here's what it ends up sounding like.
I really like that one shot because of the little reverse chop in it. I think it just makes it overall a little bit more interesting. And then, like I mentioned before, the final sound in this melody is a bass, and I just grabbed a boo bass, which comes stock with FL Studio, and it's just a free acoustic bass plugin. All right, and then here's the MIDI for it. So it's pretty much the same thing that I like to do with acoustic basses, where it's just a simple repeating pattern. So this little bit just repeats for the rest of the time. And then I have this little long piece in here just for a little variation, and you can kind of end up hearing that in the final melody. Overall, for the rest of the notes, it just copies the bass notes of the melody. So it's super simple and it's just overall a solid pattern. For the effects on that, all I have is this EQ that just kind of fades out of the highs and does a slight boost on the lows. So after adding that EQ, here's what it ends up sounding like. So that's pretty much it for the melody. And the only other thing I added was a couple texture loops and drum loops. So this vinyl texture is from a lo-fi drum kit. I made this texture five and then also this drum loop one. So overall, it just kind of gives it a little bit more texture as they are textures. And uh, here's what it sounds like. I really find that adding textures to your melody really spices it up a little bit and overall just makes it feel a little bit more alive. So that's it. So that's it for the melody. And then in the end, I ended up pitching it up one. So after you put all everything all together, here's what it sounds like. Overall with this melody, I think it's simple enough where an artist could get on it or you could also do some crazy drums. So let's get started on the drums. All right, yeah, so that's going to be pretty much it for the video. Uh, with the drums, I might change them a little bit because they sound kind of off to me. But overall, I'm probably just going to add a two-step section of the hi-hats just to keep it a little bit more simple for parts of it. But overall, it's pretty much done. So thank you guys for watching, and have a fantastic rest of your night.